Comrades, there's a terrible situation in Bosnia Herzegovina right now. The country has been going through riots for several days. This is some of the worst violence the country has seen since the 92-95 war. Now, these riots are over the same things that have been going on all over Europe. It's been going through unemployment, an astronomically high unemployment rate of about 40%, which is which is virtually unthinkable. And a large portion of the anger that people do have towards the government is the complete ineffectiveness of the government in dealing with the situation. Fires were set to government buildings requiring 13 firefighting units to respond. Now the protests remained largely contained to the Croat Muslim Bosniak half of Bosnia, but they're gaining in intensity, and at least 145 people thus far have been injured. Thus far, it seems that police have only used rubber bullets against protesters in the capital of Sarajevo and a northern city of Tulsa. Now, reports have come that there has been sightings of smoke coming from the presidential building, and there has been some video or some pictures of people who have been throwing stones at the same building. On Thursday, clashes between police and demonstrators in Tulsa injured more than 130 people, mostly police officers. The unrest began in Tulsa earlier in the week with protests over the closure and sale of factories which had employed most of the local population. An unemployed economist in the country said the whole situation is looking like it could turn into like another Arab Spring for their country. I think this is a genuine Bosnian Spring. We have nothing to lose. There will be more and more of us in the streets. There are around 550,000 unemployed people in Bosnia. The situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina seems to be an, an exacerbated version of what's going on in the rest of Europe. They too were hit by the huge crisis and Europe, it seems, is not really pulling itself out of the mess that it got into with the crash all those years ago. And being that this is one of the more impoverished countries inside, the, inside Europe, it's obviously going to be even more difficult for them to pull themselves out, especially with an astronomically high unemployment rate of 40%. I mean, this is absolutely devastating. And yeah, with an unemployment rate that high, you're going to see a tremendous, you know, skyrocketing amount of social unrest. I mean, this could turn into like a genuine real serious problem. And given the ethnic tensions that do already exist in the country, when you add in a, a really terrible economic situation like this, it wouldn't take much to, you know, reignite a lot of the, the, the tension that's already there. So this looks like this could potentially be very, very dangerous for the country and a, a genuine symptom of what's happening all across Europe as well. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.